Howdy y'all, Lone Star Roddy here. Gonna go over some stuff on the van and if you guys got any uh, suggestions on what I'm wanting to do to this, uh, let me know. So y'all guys stick around. Guys, I'm glad you stuck around. All right, I'm gonna show a couple of things here what I'm planning on doing. Topper is gonna be the big main thing next because I got the gas gauge fix. The oil line cooler is gonna be put in. I just don't have a big enough wrench. I was planning on doing that today. And I think it takes a one, one inch, something like that on the oil cooling lines and none of my wrenches are bigger or <laughs> that size so i'm gonna have to go purchase a wrench for that uh i know i'm all over the place but all this stuff is just coming to my mind on what i'm going to be doing the rest of the van is really mechanically sound um, it has a little over a hundred thousand miles on the motor which these motors are supposed to be rock solid all right guys uh a couple of things here first I'm going to talk about where the bed's going to go yeah I know there's a mess here but this is stuff that has to be uh, done but the bed will come from the back here right about there this floor is coming out too by the way uh, and the bed will go all the way that will come right about there at the end of the uh, tape measure. The bed will be at this height, right below the window right there, and it will go this way. And it's going to be a twin size bed. This air conditioning unit here, rear air, that's all going to come out. I've got to take care of all the hoses remove that and then get it replaced. I'm gonna have a professional do that. The rear air conditioning I'm taking out, uh, I have a one that's coming in that will replace it that runs off 12 volt and it's supposed to be really nice. I'll be taking care of this up here. I'm gonna keep the lights and reuse those. I don't even think they're hooked up. <laughs> but all this has to come out for the topper to be put on. I'm gonna remove all the walls here, all that. Let me go to the outside here. In the place of this window right there, I'm gonna put a, what they call a window flare. It'll come out about four inches on this side. And on the other side, it'll come out three inches and the reason why it's less on this side is because of this door the sliding door uh, but there will be a window flare here also uh, the reason for the window flares is is because of the bed that I'm putting in uh, gaining those uh, eight inches will allow me to have a an exact twin size bed fit fitting in here. Now the window flare, you, they just don't sell them for the Astro vans. You can find them as Sprinter vans and all that other different kinds of vans, but you cannot find one for the Astro van. And I'm thinking I'm going to make one out of fiberglass and then replace the glass and put those window flares in. And hopefully that'll work out okay. I, am, uh, I had a suggestion from Doug Smith, uh, my friend. He says, ought to get somebody to make a metal one to put in which isn't a bad idea but i don't know which way i'm going to go on that now this little box right here is a toilet and i'm going to build a box around that and a padded seat with seat belts so i can take both of my grandkids there. now in between there is going to be a little mini kitchen not a whole lot of room. 
Yes, I know. Now, the 32 inches that will be added to the roof with the topper will allow me to stand in here. And it's also going to allow me to do one other thing. Let me go around to the side door here. Is that I am going to put a shower pan right here. And that will allow me to put a curtain in and have a shower. Yes, so I'm gonna have a toilet and then I'm gonna have a shower. I'm also gonna have an electric cooler which will go under the bed because there'll be space in there. The lithium batteries will go under there and then there'll be storage otherwise. Now the topper up here, I'm going to put a bed in there for the grandkids and it'll be used for storage. So those are the ideals that I have for that. Well, once the uh, topper is put on up there, there will be there will be some uh, cap cabinets up above there because I'll have plenty of room up there on both sides. Down here, this is where the bed will stop, right about there. So I have about probably a foot and a half that I could put. Now well, it's going to be less than that. I'll have about a foot from here to here to put something else, uh, some kind of cabinet. I haven't decided on that or I might just leave it open because of the shower pan being right here. Yes, the shower pan. <laughs> uh, and I will be replacing this, these curtains with something else. Oh, the other thing too is this passenger chair, it's gonna be on a swivel. I'm going to put a swivel on it so it'll rotate all the way around. I'll have a seat that I could sit in and do work or whatever I need to do there. And uh, I will probably put a, a Laguna table in. Uh, it's a swivel table, if you don't know what it is, over here to where eat at the table, work, whatever I need to do on that. I am going to put... Um, some flooring in here that this flooring is coming out matter of fact it's not even glued in i'll show this to you this flooring here is not even glued in it's just laying in here on top uh i may go ahead and just leave the plywood in here but i found this marine y'all could tell me if that's a good idea or not but this flooring here is all gonna come up uh, it also will help with the dampening of noise and insulation and stuff like that. Tomorrow I will most likely, tomorrow or Sunday, I will most likely be changing that oil line, uh, cooling oil line thingy bopper. Here, I got it here. It's an oil line cooler. Um, I got everything but the wrench. I will be changing that out and I'll video that and y'all can see how I do that. Uh, there's somebody that already has a video up of changing that out. And it's not that hard. But knock on wood, uh, <laughs> things happen. I didn't video the door latch. Uh, I started to do that and then I got so frustrated because it should have been about an hour job. And it ended up being a four hour job or changing out the driver's side latch because it was broke and but now I can do it fairly quickly because I know what to do but yeah I'll show you that right now alright this is a brand new door latch I bought two of them uh, one for this side and one that side it came in a pair and it wasn't really expensive but these are metal and they're supposed to be better than the original ones uh, apparently it's been done before because they recommend you drill a hole here so you can access, yeah, it's right there, that nut. 
Uh, and the other one is accessed by this. So there's two nuts. Uh, there's rods that go everywhere in here, three of them. And one of them rests against this door latch and it fell off when I was doing this and I couldn't figure out where it went. But it's all working now. I did get it fixed. I ended up having to take this whole door panel off because when I took the nut out, it dropped and went down to the bottom. So ended up having to do that anyway. And you're not supposed to have to do that, but that's what happened. I'm doing this update because people were asking how the van is coming along. So this is how the van's coming along. It's coming along slowly. yeah some of this stuff may be put in later as we go uh, again if you want to uh, donate and help me out with this van build the gofundme link will be down below and you can help out with that uh, i had to finance uh, from a friend that gave me a loan on this so i'm paying that off also uh, anything like that would help I just didn't want this van to pass up on this van. It was such a, uh, a good deal and it was what I was looking for, except for it's not all wheel drive, but that's okay too. Uh, not that I'm gonna do any four wheel. <laughs> all right guys, if y'all have any suggestions or recommendations on what I should be doing here or what I shouldn't be doing, let me know in the comments. And if you know me, call me. <laughs> and say, Rex, don't do that. You're nuts. So, but anyway, that's my idea about the whole thing. Catch y'all on the road here in Hearst, Texas with my 1998 Astro van. All right, guys, that's all I got. I'm just rambling now. I'll catch y'all on the road. I'm here in Hearst, Texas. Motorcycle.